All right, welcome back. So in the last video, this is kind of where we ended up and that was building out our profile a little bit. And now we're gonna build out this kind of left side nav here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so a couple things we've added here. I've added a left nav.css here. Um, and again, the code will be in the description, but uh, just some CSS for you to add for the button and for some titles and, and whatnot. So uh, go ahead and get that code and add that uh, if you would. And then um, the other thing we have done is added um, our Twitter logo to um, our uh, favicon. So that is uh, this up here. So you see how it's a, a little Twitter logo instead of the React one. So we did that by coming over here and we just wanna come and add it up here. So I've uh, replaced this favicon.ico with uh, our Twitter logo. So you may wanna go ahead and do that too. Uh, otherwise, no worries. So for this video, uh, we're just gonna build out that left nav. So let's come in to our components here under our SRC and we wanna add a new file here and we're gonna call that nav, uh, actually, sorry, left nav uh, dot uh, tsx. Okay, and then let's just get a functional component up here. So RFC, React Functional Component. We're gonna do that. Uh, I like to copy this over here and paste this down here. Again, you don't have to do that, but you can if uh, you want. So again, this is gonna be another kind of markup tutorial. So I'll probably speed through some of this uh, as I go. But uh, again, the code will be in the description and then we will go through it uh, after I get it all in there. Okay, so that is our markup uh, for this left nav here. So just to go through it real quick, we're bringing our link component from uh, React Router DOM there. Um, we're just uh, having an image, which is gonna be the favicon of the Twitter logo there uh, with a little style in here. Uh, and then we're just linking, these are just gonna go to users. These will go to different pages once we have those routes set up, but right now we don't have that. The only route we really have is profile. Um, so that's gonna link to that. And then we have the different font awesome icons with that and then the name. And with our styling, we have a little hover effect and stuff. So you can go and uh, check that out here. Uh, when we hover over the H2, we're gonna add a background and stuff. So you'll see that. Um, but other than that, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. For a button here, we have some styling here. It's just gonna make this a little unique and that is gonna be our tweet button, which will eventually lead to us being able to create a tweet. So that's uh, great for that. Now let's come into our profile here and let's add this to the actual uh, nav here. So you can see right now, we just have a left nav here. So we're just gonna replace what's in here. And in here, we're just gonna add our left uh, nav here and import that like that and that should be good so once you do that let's uh, go and check out and see if this is uh, working so we can refresh the page here and after a minute there it uh, comes up and this is our uh, left nav here so not looking too bad uh, these links right now don't really go to anything. The tweet isn't uh, actually going to be working, but again, yeah, this will be uh, open up a modal eventually, and we can uh, we'll have a tweet here and uh, most of these things. I don't know if we'll have messages, and notifications, and stuff, but we may be replacing that. But we'll definitely have our home page um, and a way to tweet and whatnot. Again, our edit profile still works, and then below here in the middle, we're going to have all our tweets. Um, of either our tweets or the people we follow or like and all of that stuff. And then the right, we're gonna have like popular tweets, I believe. So I think that's good for this. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, in the next one, we're gonna be uh, building out um, our, our uh, avatar here. So that's gonna be image uploads and whatnot. So that should be a good one. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you in the next one.